Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is the 12th lecture of this number theory series and in this lecture we are going to study about modulo multiplicative inverse. So, uh, we have seen in the uh, modulo arithmetic lecture that a plus b modulo p can be calculated as a modulo p plus b modulo p and finally the resultant taken modulo p. Same goes for subtraction and same goes for multiplication as well. So multiplication can be calculated as a modulo p multiplied with b modulo p and the result, uh, resultant taken modulo p. But the question is can you do the same with division that is can you calculate a by b modulo p as a modulo p divided by b modulo p uh, and then the resu uh, result, uh, resultant modulo p does it hold for division as well so to answer that let's take a simple example this let's calculate 6 by 2 modulo 5 now 6 by 2 is going to be 3 3 modulo 5 should have been 3 but here we see it is 0 let's see why 6 modulo 5 is going to be 1 2 modulo 5 is going to be 2 so 1 by 2 in most of the programming languages is, are, is going to be 0 so 1 by 2 is actually 0 0 modulo 5 is going to be 0 we see the result should have been 3 but the result is coming out to be 0 which which indicates that we can't use the same formula to calculate a divided by b modulo p as we use for subtraction addition and multiplication so how we can calculate this what is the way workaround uh, for this problem so before we move on to modulo inverse let's talk about inverse inverse i mean multiplicative inverse and multiplicative inverse is different from modulo multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse is reciprocal basically so uh, if you have a division uh, operator like this uh, you have an operation like 10 by 5 which is having a division operator you can replace the division operator with multiplication operator if you can find uh, the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of the uh, what we call it uh, denominator so denominator is 5 the reciprocal of 5 is 1 by 5 so you can replace division operator with multiplication operator and you can find uh, you can replace denominator with its multiplicative inverse so multiplicative inverse of 5 is actually 1 by 5 which is 0 0.2 so the result would be 10 into 0 0.2 which is going to be 2 and we see 10 by 5 is also 2 so you can replace division operator with multiplication operator if you replace uh, the denominator with its reciprocal or multiplicative inverse the same thing uh, is for multiplicative modulo multiplicative inverse you can replace division operator with multiplicate multiplication operator if you replace the uh, denominator with its modulo multiplicative inverse so instead of calculating a divided by b modulo p which we know we don't have any formula for this this expression can be replaced with a into x modulo p where x is actually modulo multiplicative inverse of b under p and then since it it is now transformed from division to multiplication and we know the formula for multiplicate uh, multiplication calculating uh, modulo of a into x that is multiplication operator we we have formula so we can now apply the formula of, of multiplication to calculate a by b modulo p and that would be a modulo p into x modulo p and then resultant of that modulo p so what we can do we can replace the division by multiplication if we replace uh, the div, uh, the denominator with its multiplicative inverse under p now the question is how to find modulo inverse before modulo inverse let's go back again to multiplicative inverse so you see there is a property of mul uh, multiplicative pro uh, inverse that is number x and uh, multiplicative inverse of that number when you multiply both of these you get one 
is great similarity between uh, the definition of mo uh, multiplicative inverse and definition of a modulo multiplicative inverse the definition of a modulo multiplicative inverse of a number n under modulo p say number x is modulo multiplicative inverse of n then uh, n into x is congruent to one mod p you see there is great similarity between the definitions of both of the definition or properties of both the multiplicative inverse and modulo multiplicative inverse i'm not going to explain this uh, congruency uh, because i we have already seen in the lecture where we have talked about modulo arithmetic so if you want to know more about uh, congruency you can just check out those lectures in the number theory playlist now uh, to find modulo multiplicative inverse you can run a loop from 1 to p minus 1 each time multiply n with i and check whether n into i modulo p is equal to 1 or not if then i is a modulo multiplicative inverse of n now this is not uh, an efficient way to calculate modulo multiplicative inverse but this this is simple so you can apply it very easily it's like brute force approach so now uh, we know the modulo multiplicative inverse holds this property so the question uh, for, for sorry first let's take an example modulo multiplicative inverse of 5 under modulo 7 is 3 since 5 into 3 is 15 15 modulo 7 is congruent to one or basically uh, 15 is congruent to 1 modulo 7 because 15 modulo 7 is equal to 1 so uh, this was just an example so it gets fit into a head easily now let's see how modulo multiplicative inverse replaces this division sign so modulo multiplicative inverse of 2 under 5 is 3 because 2 into 3 modulo 5 is equals to 1 so we can replace 2 with 3 and replace division with multiplication and now we can calculate 6 by 2 modulo 5 as 6 modulo 5 into 3 modulo 5 and resultant modulo 5 6 modulo 5 is 1 into 3 modulo 5 is 3 and then 1 into 3 is 3 3 modulo 5 is 3 so you see the result is now accurate 6 by 2 modulo 5 uh, is equals to 3 and we can see we are getting the result 3 so now we see how modulo multiplicative inverse can help us calculate the uh, uh, help us calculate this uh, this kind of uh, expression where you have to calculate a by b modulo p it can replace your division operator with multiplication operator and then you can calculate the result easily now the question is does uh, modulo inverse exist for every number the answer is no the multiplicative inverse modulo multiplicative inverse of 12 does not exist under modulo 6 uh, the result to exist for 12 under modulo 6 we must have a number x such that 12 into x modulo 6 is equals to 1 but 12 into x is multiple of 6 that is why 12 into x would be 0 for every single x so there is no x such that 12 into x is going to be 1 that is why there is no modulo multiplicative inverse of 12 under modulo 6 so what is the condition to check and to know whether uh, the modulo multiplicative inverse exists or not uh, the condition is this if you want to find the modulo multiplicative inverse of n under p then n and p must be co-prime with each other this is the condition and uh, i'm just stopping at this point because this thing we would be proving in the next lecture and in the next lecture we would also uh, look at the techniques we use to calculate modulo inverse efficiently because we can't run a loop every time from 1 to p minus 1 and check whether n into uh, i is congruent to 1 modulo p or not so there are efficient algorithms we would look at those algorithms and study them in the next next lecture so thank you guys for watching and till the next video drop keep going thank you